Yo, what up everybody, it's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby once again and I'm back again with another educational episode. Africa is rising. Indeed, Africa is developing. But I keep on telling you that Africa is the future. It's about time you and I invest in the motherland. If I say you and I, I'm an African, you might be an African diaspora, but Africa needs both of us. I am here with my man. My man, my man, Maya. My man I met a very good to see that I you, came man. And I, I'm meeting Hi, the guys. last day I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, the last day, unfortunately. That's why you should come to Africa. We guys are busy. We're busy rocking the place, man. Yeah. And what are you doing there? Come on, pop by. What, yeah. what, do, you do? what do you do? Tell us what you do. Okay, okay. So, uh, honestly, I like calling myself a serial entrepreneur <laughs> to some extent. Huh? Yeah. I'm initially into education. I'm a teacher. But I've also endeavored in non-profit organizations supporting the local community. Okay. And right now, we have started this volunteerism project okay. through my NGO called Seeds Togo, okay. where we're actually attracting a lot of young people from around the world that want to discover Togo. Wow. You know, something very uh, amazing or particular about our country is that if you look at it on a map, it looks like a spot. Actually, you, you see Ghana, you see Benin, you see Burkina, and then you see that little spot close to the sea, and they write Togo. People start wondering, is it a country? Do you have people there, or is it just one mistake from the map? Guys, it's a whole country. We've got things to show. You guys should come here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. David, do you know something? Yeah. There are a lot of people out there who are looking mm -hmm. for where to invest in Togo. They want to help build Togo. Oh, great, great. That sounds like a good thing. Actually, Togo has a lot of things to invest in. If you come in here, first, real estate, you will, you will enjoy because the city is still young. The roads are done, as you could see. Yeah, I've seen beautiful yeah, you, roads. Beautiful roads, but we don't have the buildings. We don't have the buildings yet. So real estate is one of the first things that you could look into. Mm. Secondly, you could also do some buying and selling. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things also that you can discover if you make a deep research about Togo mm -hmm is that we have the deepest harbor. So we actually serve all those countries on top that don't have sea, Burkina, Mali, eh, Chad. They all source from our place. So we are kind of a transit platform for companies that want to send their goods, their, their equipment into Africa, into wow. up the upper part of West Africa. Wow. Uh, I've seen, um, what do you call it? Is it, uh, there's a name for it. Zemijan. Zemijan. Yes. I think it's a big business here that it, people want it, to... It's a big business as well, transportation. You know, here we move with motorbikes. Okay. Taxis, yes, but we fancy bikes because it goes faster. You call the guy, he stops you right where you're going to. If you want him to drive you into your bedroom, just tell him he drives you in. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys want to get some more bikes into the country, wow. it will definitely boom. That's something that will boom alongside with agriculture as well because, you know, where there's people, there's need for food. Okay. And we have a lot of land not wow. tamed yet. So agriculture is one other part. We have very good soil. We're not yet doing all those chemical stuff that you hear about uh, abroad. You have some fresh fruits. We import, we export, sorry, a lot of pineapples. We've started watermelon. We're importing also a lot of vegetables. Mm. So this is a place actually that you have to come and visit and rethink about how you behave in the world. You're there, talking about, the opportunities here. You're talking right? about agriculture. Yeah. I need to buy the land. Are lands yes. in Togo cheap? Lands are cheap. There is a national policy for making things smooth for investors in agriculture. Wow. And this is the right moment because it has kicked off a few years ago. It's getting to this peak moment where things are really going faster and you sh should just come. My, my advice is pop by, just like Maya came, yeah. come and look at the place and make up, make, take a decision and you will see, it will be rewarding, trust me. <laughs> yeah, trust me, it will be rewarding. I'm not trying to, no, I'm not no, painting no. Togo like the best country in the world. <laughs> huh? let, let, let's, let's look at it, but in <sighs> West Africa, in a francophone country where yeah. people can, you will find people speaking a bit of English, yeah. where you don't feel too lost, it's Togo. It's Togo. And also, maybe when you're talking about investing, huh? uh, recreational activities, uh, fun, fun parks, tourism, especially tourism. I'm into volunteerism. I've yeah. been able to ship, uh, to, to, 
to get people from more than 16 countries around the world in Togo. I've gotten Vietnamese people touring on some nice activities in villages, visiting our sites. I've got people from Canada, people from Denmark. So actually, people are coming here. I don't know why you are still waiting. I really don't know why. You know, almost everything that you're talking about yeah. needs land, like yeah. from real estate, agriculture, um, even buying and selling, you still need to have a small place. But I want to know, can everyone buy land in Togo? Uh, I don't know what's happening elsewhere, but here the policy is you have the cash, you get what you want. So land, access to buying land here is not regulated to only local citizens. We've got a lot of foreigners. I don't know if you've gone through Bagida. I'm sure you visited the yeah, beach side. Beach side yeah. yeah, most of those big, big buildings are owned by foreigners and it's not, it's not a long process. It's not a long process. If you need a, a bit of guidance, just call me. Let me know. I'll, I'll give you the uh, hints. How uh, huh? can we reach you out? You, you can reach. You, you've got my contacts, <laughs> man. He has my contacts. I'm not going to give my number here, yeah, but just gonna, like I'm this gonna, video I, I, and then you'll get back to me. Huh? Oh, like right. this video first. Oh, okay. That's one of my first addresses. <laughs> <laughs> Before I let you go, okay, yeah. um, let's talk about if somebody want to start a business. Is yeah. it really difficult to start a business in Togo? You can open a company in 24 hours. Yes, and and let me give you this best part of it. You can even open it, pay in a day. That's in six hours. It's done online. You just come and collect your paperwork. Wow. Wow. So what else wow. can you say, man? Minyonto. Minyonto in, in our local language means we are very good. Minyonto. <laughs> That's what I can say about it. Minyonto. Huh? Minyonto. Wow. And one thing also you should know, if you want to be moving on those bikes, mm -hmm. there's a password. Olea means are you going? That's how we stop our bikes here oh, okay. for transportation. Olea. Olea. So if you have Olea, if you know how to say Olea, you should be able to move around, around everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Wow. I want to say thank you so much for um, educating us. And I know most people out there are going to reach out to you. So immediately they reach out to you, make mm -hmm. sure you help them for us. Definitely, definitely. My, my best friend is my friend. Wow. Huh? Wow. So anytime you want to come, you're most welcome. And thank you too for visiting Togo. You're welcome. <laughs> and I love your country. And I love everything about Togo. Yeah. And I was actually amazed like the beauty of Togo. But I'm definitely going to come back because of your food. Yeah. Come, come. I'm sure more than that. More than that. He doesn't want to say everything. Yeah, because of my food. Indeed. You're yeah, right. Guys, come back later. I'll show you what happens behind the scene. Huh?